Jill Boyd Zavadoff. This week's Movie Monday is an Ultraman story. It's I don't think it's a movie, but it's sort of like a saga. I didn't know Ultraman Mobius had more sagas than just the Ikari one and the other one that I saw. But actually, there's a couple extras. Um, one, I don't think I'm watching. I think I got a couple of suggestions. One of them is on YouTube with English subtitles. Um, it's called Ghost Reverse Saga, I think. Side story. I, 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 thought, I thought it was called Ghost Rebirth, but it's called Ghost Reverse. Uh, it's got two parts. Each part is 26 minutes, so fairly short. It's like a mini movie. Um, I think I saw in a preview that there's like a multiple Ultraman in it. There's a Land of Light involved. So uh, I don't know if it happens before, before or after. I guess you guys can tell me that. And judging by the first comment, I think Hikari's in it as well. So uh, this should be cool. I think it happens after the show. Um, so yeah, I'm going to watch it and let you know my thoughts. Well, I mean, I thought he died, uh, but he just called himself Undead Glozam. So these villains just keep coming back to life. <laughs> they even got Mebius Killer here. Next you're going to tell me the Emperor's coming. But this scene right here was badass. <laughs> He sliced him in half. That's Mechazamu. I didn't realize it was him. Oh, I see. The villains want to use these, uh, this Giga Battle Nizer to resurrect the Emperor. Wait, what? I think... Hikari just turned... Hikari's a villain in this. He betrayed the Ultra Brothers. I'm a bit surprised by that. Because he had the whole arc in the Mebius show, and his own saga. And now he's on the dark side again. What? I love how well this ties into the main show. Because even Mekazamu is he's so surprised by how, even though Mebius is betrayed, he still believes in his friends. And that's who Mebius is, that's, that's just who he is. He doesn't understand, <laughs> but a lot of people don't understand, but... That's who he is, and that's one of the best things. That's one of the reasons why he's, he's, he's my favorite Ultraman. Maybe is he's, he's, he's so he's such a good, well-written character, and uh, stuff like this is one of the reasons. I just feel like they portray it really well. Obviously, he's not the only Ultraman that's like that. Most of them are, you know, you know, very pure, uh, good-hearted. But Mebius for me just stands out in the way that is written, and uh, yeah, I, I just like how you know they have this scene here. And we have another character who's just so surprised by how pure Mobius is. It's great. I love it. It's great storytelling. Also, what makes Mobius so powerful. So, uh, yeah, it, it really it just works. I knew it. I knew he didn't fully turn. He betrayed the villains. And I knew it. And he, he was playing them. It was. Uh, <laughs> there was no way he was evil again. Like, I, I knew something was up. I keep pausing it to show you screenshots. But, you know, I'm just trying to avoid copyright, essentially. <laughs> if I show any, like... Rolling footage, I just get copyright claimed, so it is what it is. Uh, all, my, all of my reactions get copyright claimed. It is what it is, I still do them, um, but they take a while to make. But these types of videos, I can just watch and review. I just, I, these are just chilled videos. Uh, but unfortunately, I can only show you screenshots to avoid copyright. It, it is what it is. How that whole like Hikari going on their side, that was all just part of the plan. <laughs> and the Ultra Brothers knew about the plan as well. Well played. I actually thought it was over. I was just like, oh, they stopped them from resurrecting the Emperor. It's all good. And then suddenly it turns out Mekozami was the host to resurrect the Emperor all along. This is a great story. This feels like a damn movie. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad someone recommended this to me because I had no idea this, is ex this existed. I had no idea until one person told me about this. I love how he still tries to reason with... Mekazamu here tries to reason to him. Damn man, this is a really sad ending. So that was good. Had an emotional ending as well. Why is it so dark in here? What on earth? Uh, yeah, uh, that was that was actually really good. I really enjoyed that. I did not expect to enjoy it as much as I did, but damn, <laughs> that was really well written. I guess that's the magic of uh, Ultraman Mebius. And also, there's an after credit scene. Um, whose arm is this? He has just grabbed. The ultimate weapon, who, 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 who is this? Is there a sequel to that? I don't know, but uh, that was well worth watching. If I was to rate that, I'd give it a nine out of 10. Solid. This is your boy Davidoff, please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching, have a good day, and see ya.
是。